Hey everyone, it's Zadira. I'm back in Enshrouded and I'm here with part two of our tutorial for how to build a cozy cottage. I wanted to be sure and show you what I've done so far since the last episode. I did a lot of stuff. Last episode was super long. I mean, I think you probably can all agree with me. I wanted to do a lot off camera so I wouldn't be taking up so much of your time. And I was expecting to have all of this landscaping done in front with the bushes and the trees and all the flowers. But I came across a little bit of a problem and I hope somebody can answer what the problem is. And I don't have any more of my seedlings left, but what I, my plan was to fill this whole area here with all kinds of flowers. Now, if you have seen our, uh, our, ba our main base back down south, at the starter gate starter area it's covered with flowers we have flowers all over the place and especially up against the the house in the corners and the edges but for some reason every time i try to place anything see how how this is all blank right here now i had to use my rake and i wonder if that has something to do with it but every time i try to place something it says Every time I try to place something in this area, it says not enough space. Even trying to put a little lantern on this stone right here, it said not enough space. I don't know what's going on. It's like there's a bubble or um, some kind of barrier right here. It's almost like all this front area. I was able to get bushes as I went on around, but I'm so curious what caused it. Now, there was a major update today, but... I don't think it had anything to do with that. So it's not as pretty as I wanted it to be. And maybe these are starting to starting to bloom. I, these plants right here, I, put, I just covered them with trees and bushes as much as I could. But there was no rhyme or reason. I just threw them down because I wanted to put all my blueberry bushes along that border. Anyway, I'm very disappointed, but I, mainly I'm curious why. So here's here's the house. I did add a border around the edge off camera that stuck out just a little bit because that does give a little bit of depth. And then, of course, you, you were here when we did the window where we framed in the windows. But then I we were able to go get the saw blade for Cade the carpenter. So I was able to make the fancier windows. So I replaced those. These trees, I don't think these bushes will grow any, but these trees will grow, and that'll make it look a little bit more lush, I think. So, in the front, I believe that, oh, I added the railing right here. I didn't think it was necessary for you guys to just sit and watch me do all that, because it's pretty much just, you know, step by step by step with, drop, with block by block by block. So, I didn't want to waste your time, because... Once you can figure out how to do any of that, you're going to be able to do that easily. So let's come on in. I did get make a couple of doors. And the first thing you'll see is my big room is not a big room anymore. This is my bathroom. Here's the stairs. And I did change up the stairs a little bit. When you watch the video, I just kind of plopped it down because I wanted to be able to get up on the roof. So I was able to make the stairs and pretty much followed what I did. But I made sure that I made the stairs a little bit extra wider and a little bit came out from the wall this direction a little bit wider because I wanted to make the bathroom. And you needed a little bit wide uh, and a little bit more area. Let's shut the door so we can see. And there's a nice little bathroom in here. Isn't that nice? And it's all underneath the stairs. So by doing the, the stairs up a little bit, it gave me a little bit room down here for my head instead of having the stairs really low. So be sure, you can follow my directions like I showed to make the stairs, but you might just want to make sure and uh, block by block fix it so that it's a little bit wider and a little bit deeper than it was so we have a bathtub we have a bucket I, th I thought it was just an empty bucket but it looks like it might have sand in it I'm not I'm not sure <laughs> I'm not sure but uh, since we went and got the saw blades 
Cade was able to, well, we were able to make a bunch of lumber planks, I think, and then he, he's able to craft so many cool things. So we have our bathtub, we have, oh, goodness, guys, totally forgot the sink. I've got, the bathroom sink goes right here, <laughs> and you need the sink to wash your hands, oh my gosh. So that's where it goes, and it looks really nice when it's there, but I ended up using it because I was experimenting in the kitchen, and I forgot to, re I forgot to make the new one and replace the one in the bathroom. Here's the little foyer where you can take your shoes off. We need a little coat rack, don't we, to put our hats on and our coats when we come in. And then you come over here, and this is the living area. And I'll be really, really glad when we get some kind of a sofa or we have these benches, but it just doesn't look right. And we do have some other kind of benches that might have worked. It just, I don't know, we, I'm, I'm going to be patient and wait, and hopefully we're going to get something that we can put in front of the fireplace, some cozy chairs, and that would look really nice. But I may, I built this, up, if you watch my one episode where I showed how to build a fireplace, but this is the new, down here, this is the new fireplace that Cade can build us. It call, it's called a fireplace, the little inset. It's bigger than the one that you can make at the beginning. So it fit in nicely. And what I did was actually put it on the floor and then built around it. And that made it actually, and that was easier to make than when I did the other one. And it's not as big. So that worked out really pretty. And we got to hang our uh, head up here because we needed the planks. Oh my gosh, he is ugly. Oh, let's take off our HUD so we don't shove that in our face. Look how ugly he is. And you, it's really, I'm really worried because I was going to do, let's see, what's her name? Matron, the matron. I was going to make her head and place it. I can't find that head anywhere. I have no idea. Look, I found a, I found a mistake down there in that corner. Oh my goodness. But things are easy to fix, right? Anyway, I've lost the head of the matron. I don't know. I'll have to ask Steffi. Maybe she put it someplace. But I just, I looked in every box. I was so disappointed not to be able to find that because since we have planks, that we can make those now. And then now we can also make, it's a bronze head like that one up there. And uh, you have to have bronze. So we'll be making that sometime soon. So this is the little desk area where you can watch out the window and we finally was at, were able to make a couple of books. <laughs> we've, been, we've been getting every book we can get. And so we finally were able to make a couple. So this is actually the uh, workbench. But I thought it made a cute little desk and have a little chair. And this bench is the one that you can make. Cade can make them from the lumber. It's just those planks. You can make so much. And then here's a little shelf that we have with a few decorations. We don't have a lot of decorations yet, but we have bowls and mugs and plates. And see, I put a little uh, coffee pot in there with some plates and a bowl and a little candle. It, I love this new furniture. It's just gorgeous. And then here's our kitchen. See, here's my bathroom sink. But I made a little kitchen counter. And that's this is another one of those fireplaces. I thought it was perfect for a, for a kitchen. And this little cabinet looks like it's something that would be in a kitchen, doesn't it? A little pantry. It's getting nighttime, but our house is well, well lit, so I think you can see. Here's the new dining room table. We have a set for, for four people to come eat after a hard day of adventuring. And we have rugs all over the floor, and so just too fun. You know, somebody asked me about opening those windows, but you can't open them. So that's okay. I'm not worried. I just remembered that. Let's go on upstairs. And this could be a three, a three, two bedroom home. Easy. But I've got it just fixed for a one bedroom home right now. And here's a little de writing desk so you can look out over the area over there. And there's some more of our books. And I've, this little desk is just adorable. It's a smaller table. And then we have the firefly lanterns that Cade can make us that hang from the ceiling. We have these chandeliers and I'm hoping, I'm a little disappointed because they have four candles on them and you'd think they put out a lot of light because look how bright this little candle is. But they, they're very, 
they're they're not very lit up very well so you have to use a lot more light but i thought that and look at this bed look at that isn't that gorgeous oh my gosh so pretty but we do need more clutter don't we we need lots more clutter so i on and when you saw the attic last there this you could see the edge of the roof go down and so uh, um let's go ahead and sleep it's getting a little bit too dark oh i can't see i'll be able to watch the hud's off maybe if it gets a little lighter we can see there we go so I ended up just putting a wall across here because otherwise you have that slanted uh, area over there that's not usable and I think it makes it look a lot nicer. And the same thing I did over here for our dormer and see how I fixed the dormer up. Now I use these windows. I'm still not happy with these because of the colors of the wood but I just didn't know how to do them to put windows in it. We need pointy windows, don't we? <laughs> Uh, so we could have a pointy window. I tried all different things, and you can try different things, and different things will work, but this is what I ended up with, and I ended up doing this with the fancy windows on top of the bottom windows because it looked funny. I wish we could turn them upside down. I think that would look good with those top windows turned upside down. I think that would look really neat, but you can't, pretty much can't do anything. <laughs> So anyway, then I took the wall across here. See, it all looked like all like this. And I could close this in too, but that would make that area very tiny. But it gives it more of a finished look. But you can see how this could easily be uh, two bedrooms, right? Easy. So that makes it nice. Two bedroom, one bathroom home. Wonder how much they're going for. Plus, it has a front porch and it has a patio. Let's go out and... Oh, yeah, I was going to finish. I have to get my blocks. This is one of the new medium chests that Cade can build us. I'm going to put my UI back on. So, I left a little bit of our uh, pergola not finished. Let's go ahead and turn our UI back on. HUD. It's called a HUD. And... I'll show you the back patio. See, now when, when you were watching the video yesterday, you saw us build this, and there's the little uh, flower box for the tree. We saved the tree. It was here, and I just wanted it in part of the, incorporated in part of the build so much, so it, it I took everything around it, like all the dirt and everything, and it just stayed right there, so I guess things will just stay up in the air as long as you don't harvest them. And then, so this is the way you go down. You go down these stairs. And like I say, too, see, oh, our flowers are coming along nicely. So maybe it'll fill in enough. I was worried. Here I could put more down. That front part, I just, there, you couldn't place them. And then this is one of the new braziers that Cade can build once we, once we got the planks. Uh, I think, I'm not sure, but I thought that we needed something right here in this area. So let's finish the gazebo. So this is what, I mean, not, it would be fun to build a gazebo, wouldn't it? This is the uh, pergola. So let's go ahead and get into our building mode, hammer. And what, what, we're, what I'm doing is building with one block. So we want to go up to the top and get into that one block. And let's choose... Um, Flintstone Shroud. And I'm going to finish this off to kind of give you a visual of what I did. All of this is done one block at a time except these pillars. And this is so interesting. This is the shrouded wood on this pillar. Look, not enough free space. Why? That's what it was saying. It's like there's like some kind of a weird, see, not enough free space. Why? Why? I don't understand why. See, it, it's there. It's okay. But you get... Isn't that... Does it, if anybody knows what the deal is... I thought in the front is because I used that rake, but I haven't used the rake back here. But isn't that weird? Okay, so let's finish this off. So what... <laughs> I got interrupted because I saw that not enough space. <gasps> it's saying it right there. That is just the weirdest thing. 
Oh my gosh, that is okay. I'm something I'm doing because I was able to do this earlier. Anyway, well, this is what I'm. I'm using these columns, these two meter columns here. Maybe if I take X off, is that no? I think that's really weird. I wonder what it could be. So I'm glad I don't have to do that. Hopefully, it's going to let me do these. That's a bummer. Okay, let's go ahead and finish it off. So I use the columns, and each person is going to have different patio sizes. So you'll want to um, do your math as far as where you place your beams. And so it, with the different sizes, it's, a, it's that's really a personal thing where you want to place your beams. But it turns out, oh my gosh, these this uh, shrouded wood is perfect for making this... There we go. Wow, I was really getting... I was kind of worried. Look at that. Oh, it says too far. Not enough free space. I sure am curious if it's that's something to do with the update. Because I wasn't having any problem at all before. Unless I'm doing something different too. Anyway, this is our little gazebo. Let's get... I mean, I keep calling it that. Little pergola. I'm, I'm also having problems with my windows doing that little beeping sound. I don't I don't know the reason for that. Oh, I see already where I I have not finished right up there. Let's see if I can add that. Oh, so you want one on each end just to finish oop finish it off. There we go. No, nope, one more. And that's how you make your little pergola. Doesn't that look fancy? I keep seeing smoke, and I'm thinking it's one of those hogs or a wolf. See how pretty that looks? Oh my gosh, guys. And y'all were able to see me build. Oh, these are all blooming now. That that was fast. Uh, maybe they were here already. I don't know. I planted a bunch of those. But y'all were able to watch, in the first episode, you watched us build this whole thing. I went ahead and did the... Um, edging all the way around see i've got plenty of space not enough free space not enough free space that is just the craziest thing i feel like i don't know oh i love these bushes look at this oh yeah the flowers are all starting to bloom these are the berry bushes and they go in stages and in this stage they have butterflies i wish we could keep them in this stage because i love the butterflies but you can see I've got a lot of berry bushes planted all around. Now the trees aren't growing up. This is a, uh, this isn't a tree I planted. This was here. Let's see. Oh, it'll, uh, harvest. Okay, I, harvest. And you get hazelnuts. These are all over this property. And then these are all over the property. I don't want to cut that one. This is for me emergency. I wonder if I can find another one. Um, here we go. Here's a ton. You have to watch out for poison spitters. There's poison plants that spit. But if you take your hatchet, if you find these plants, look at that. Isn't that the coolest thing? I'm not in my building area, so these will come back. So I always have lots of, of uh, plant fiber <laughs> right at my hands. And so that worked out really good. All of the all of these plants are all through here the the nettle and the um oh i don't know i can't name them right now but uh all the plants that you need to plant to make all the different potions and things well i'm disappointed that i didn't get to show you all the beautiful flowers all in bloom but i think you can get the gist of it right my hope is that you can get inspired to build your own little co cozy country cottage. And I would love to see pictures of anything that you guys come up with. And give me some hints. Give me some tips. Help me figure out why I don't have space all around my house. <laughs> is there like some kind of bubble around? <laughs> I don't know. But I do appreciate each and every one of you very, very much, so very much for watching my videos Gosh, I'm getting so many kind comments and people saying they're enjoying our our content and I am that just thrills my heart. 
So be sure and ring the bell so that you can get notifications. Also watch for our streams. We almost will stream live every night except Sunday night. That's our day off. But we try to do it every night, and I, I, boy, there is so much to do in this game. We do, we need to, we need to be streaming every single night. But for now, I think I'm gonna end this little video right here. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.